Hi there, I'm happy to welcome today Joam from the Flowable product team. Joam, we've launched a new product in the Flowable portfolio, the Flowable Design Cloud Edition. Can you tell us more about it? Absolutely. And first of all, Valentin, thank you for having me. Uh, even though I'm talking today, this really is a culmination of the hard work of a large group of people. And I'm very proud and honored that I can be here today and showcase this new product. Uh, to you. I think the best way to do this is just show what we have, right? So the first thing you'll need is a Flowbal account. Uh, it's quite simple. You go to flowbal.com, you make a free account, and you come onto a page that kind of looks like this. Now, if you've been here before, you might notice there is now a new button called Flowbal Design Cloud Edition. So let me click it, and it will take me into a fresh new workspace uh, for Flowbal Design. Okay, before you start showing us how it works, what are the main focus points compared to the Flowable Modeler and also the current Enterprise Edition? Right, so obviously what you can see if you've been using the older version is that uh, it's a reimagining of the UI, both in a UX UI perspective, but also from a technology point of view. So there's a, a whole bunch of new technologies that we use behind the scenes to really have a modern, slick uh, UI. Obviously, the second thing, and that's really crucial for our customers, is the backwards compatibility. So if I, for example, click on this new button, you can see you can import things here. Uh, people will be very happy to know that we now import both the design zip as the runtime zip. So whatever you created, there's now only one format uh, going forward. And that's really something that people have asked for a lot in the past. So when I'm coming actually from open source, I would just get the bar file from the current modeler and Correct. upload it here to import yeah. it then. Exactly. You would take that bar file, you would upload it here, and you would see all your models um, appearing in the list. Um, for this demo, I will simply create a new application. So let's call, let's call this one the demo app. And one thing I have to do is I have to select a product palette. A palette basically defines uh, to which Flowable product I can publish this application to. Uh, right now, on the Flowable Cloud, you can uh, select Orchestrates. Obviously, in the future, we will add the other products, such as Work and Engage, to it. Also interesting, these palettes can be customized, uh, and there are some really cool plans in the pipeline around that. Anyway, enough talking. Let me create an app. This is the app. And let me quickly create, let's create a process. And let's call this one the demo process. Here we go. And there we have it. As you can see, a full new UI. If you've used the old design, there is really no, you know, no comparison except that, yeah, it's the same PPMN shapes, there's a canvas, but pretty much all the rest has been uh, reimagined. One of the most important things for us is really the snappiness. It's really hard to demonstrate that in a movie. Uh, so you have to try it out and play around with it with yourself. But just playing around with it, you see there is assist lines here. It's really easy. It feels slick, it feels modern. Um, there is automatic calculations of uh, the sequence flow. If I add some more things here, you can see that it really helps me to do things really, really fast and in a slick way compared to before. Uh, like for example, here, let's add now a boundary event. I mean, this model doesn't really make any sense at this point, but I just want to give you an impression how easy it is to model uh, things here. It looks also really smooth actually here on my side when I see how <laughs> your screen is shared. So cool. It's... Yeah. Um, another thing which is really important for us is that um, we want to make the first experience as easy as possible. I mean, BPMN, CMN, DMN, all the specifications are are quite uh, big. You know, if you start from from nothing, and so we went out of our way to really make work of something which we call the wizards, and you see a little magic wand here. So if you click it, this is really to guide you through all the steps that are important mm -hmm. for you to configure a user task properly. Um, also, I just we've have seen on the right side, there was also that nice little description. So... Correct, correct. Yeah, another thing that we focused on indeed is, and there's a lot of these things I can tell you, um, every of these steps have dedicated help. And this is just a start. We have some um, honestly wild ideas how we can integrate our documentation into this. Um, and all of the steps, but not just the steps, all of the panels that you see here, all of them, they have um, a short explanation on what the use case is uh, and some, some sometimes even examples that help you uh, go through it. And you can see that 
compared to the old version, it's really trying to help you uh, by not overloading you with all these properties, all these options, because honestly, um, there's a lot to it, right? If you really are an advanced modeler, there's a lot of things you can choose in Flowbo to model your processes, mm -hmm. to model anything, um, uh, really. Um, another thing which you can't really see from this is REST APIs. So we completely, uh, not rewritten, but we factored all of our uh, backend services into clean, uh, modern REST APIs. So even though they're not exposed yet today on the cloud, in the future, the idea is that you'll have a modern REST API to communicate with yeah. your instances uh, in the cloud, with your tenant basically in the cloud. Okay, now, now we have seen BPMN so far. What is about CMMN and also other models which are Good point. there? Good point. Yeah, so right now uh, in the version that we released uh, now, you can have BPMN, but you can also have, and just showcases to you, you can have CMN, Forms, uh, DMN, both mm -hmm. uh, the DMN tables and the DMN decision services, channels and events. And let me just quickly show you. I mean, it's going to look exactly the same. Let me call this demo case. This is now a case model, right? I mean, let me zoom in a bit. Uh, again, this is mm -hmm. pretty familiar for anybody familiar with uh, CMMN. Here you go. Uh, if I want to create a form, the form editor has actually been completely rewritten um, using the form runtime. So we have the global forms runtime, which is mm -hmm. used by pretty much all of the customers. Uh, create quickly one. And you can see here on the, on the palette that what is now rendered here is actually the same runtime as we use in global work, for example. Mm -hmm. So whatever you modeling here is also going to be very close to what you have uh, at the runtime. So that's really powerful. And there's a lot of work we're still putting into in the next coming releases uh, when it comes to this. So you basically have directly the look and feel how that form is going to look. During Correct. As, when... as close as possible, of course, right? For example, yeah. if, I, if I have a data table, um, that's obviously going to be populated by some REST API. To a certain degree, you will be able to, to model this. But yeah, if it's a runtime REST API, you won't be able to do so. But you know, up to the point that we can, that's possible. So that's something that many customers have asked for, and it's now in, uh, in design. So that looks pretty cool until that point. So what are the plans for the future, Johan? OK, so uh, let's say the short term plans are getting feature equality with the old version of design. This means that, uh, as you could see, we now have a whole bunch of models, but obviously there is way more, right? We have the template, the action, the user, the chains log, uh, you know, the variable extractor query. There's a lot of models in, yeah. in global. Uh, so the, the goal is really to add uh, all of these um, and, you know, that very soon you'll be able to just import any app that was created with the old version and just mm -hmm. work it in the new, uh, in the new Brave world, so to say. Um, that's purely from a model point of view. Another thing that we're adding right now is the concept of a workspace. Uh, so you'll have, similar to many other tools, you'll have a workspace that you can share with groups, with peoples, and also that will be built in straight away in the REST API so that you will be able to yeah. hook in your functionality and that global design easily into your custom applications. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was already possible in the past, but we're really going the next step uh, with what we're offering there. Uh, and obviously, you know, all this, all the palette items right now, for example, now we're showing the orchestrate uh, mm -hmm. palette, what's there in open source, but obviously in global work, in global engage with, uh, with the chat components, there are things like, uh, for example, generating documents, working with content that are exposed in global work, which are not in orchestrate. Yeah, and these will be added. They're actually already add it, uh, but we're still needing to, you know, uh, iron out the last bits and uh, yeah, publish that and then people will be able to do that against global work. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much on the short term uh, what I can think of. On the long term, we have some crazy ideas, some wild yeah, ideas I, about- I know uh, that you have, you always have <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I mean, the fact that we have all of these cool new technologies to our availability now is really opening up some, some fun visualization, some some useful, not only fun, right, but really useful uh, visualizations, things that people will really appreciate when they're building big models and um, big applications uh, and to be able to help them to make their work more efficient uh, than before. So, but stay tuned for that. I mean, I can't really yeah. uh, talk about that yet, but uh, it's yeah. going to be awesome for sure. That's fair. 
So thank you, Om. That really looks looks nice. I really enjoyed that short demo. I think it is a, a great new Flowable design, which the entire product team of Flowable actually built. So thank you very much, Joram, for joining. Also, thank you, thank you for having me. for joining and goodbye. Bye-bye.